Hello, hello, this is Nina. I'm here to do uh, the end of November and also December energy update because they are inviting me to do it um, together today. So what they're doing is that they are kind of pushing me towards into the future and they are making me look back. So they have a different perspective on it, but we're going to get to that. If you're new, welcome in. My name is Nina. I am a uh, channeler and a psychic medium and a healer, and I share my journey here on YouTube uh, to help other people with their awakening journey and with their spiritual journey. So welcome in if you're new. Um, okay, so what's going on? The first thing that I, I talked about earlier regarding November was that it was going to be quite turbulent up until the mid-November and then it's going to start calming down. And I'm feeling that calm already, actually. I feel like the the shock of the uh, experiences that we have been going through recently, whether it be politics or flooding or all of those things, uh, we have reacted. It has come to the surface and now it's a matter of kind of dealing uh, with what comes up. Now I'm making this video two days after the uh, full moon and I think many people also felt that one. It was the last super moon of the year and it kind of rattled up a lot of that old stuff that we have already been going through and I feel like many people felt the last leg of it uh, around that time. This is the year where we have been invited to look deep into what is no longer going to come with us into the new year and I feel like um, many of us have been working very deep uh, on releasing and letting go. And that has been the theme of the year, more or less. Um, Energy-wise, I feel like they want me to talk about the end of November and December as one. Because it's kind of entwined. And, and maybe not so much different from each other. So, so that's kind of why they are showing me this as one. So the, I'm going to call this video probably end of November and December. Energy update. But anyway, so what they're doing is that they're kind of putting me into next year. And they're kind of turning back and looking at the year in that way. And what they mean by that and what I feel is that... Um, <clears throat> They are looking or they are inviting us to look at the end of this year from the perspective of the future you, okay? So what we can do, I mean, there is no time on the other side. So we, we exist in all the time, uh, in all the times at once, kind of. So what you can do is that you can contact your future you, if you will, and, and get information from that side. Or the future you is kind of pulling on you. To, to get into that perspective of you. And in that process, letting go of the old, okay? So that's kind of what they're showing me. What's happening now is that we're kind of being pulled by the future energies to let go of the old so we can get kind of dragged into the future and get dragged into the new uh, is what they're showing me first today. Now, they're talking also about stagnation and they were asking me to make a separate video about that as well. And I will, because when we meet stagnation, when we are meeting a block, when we're meeting something like we feel like we're, you know, butting the head against the wall, where we're not moving forward, there's a reason for it. And the reason is you're walking down the wrong path. So they're trying to show you a different path. And if we are not willing to let go of that future that we had foreseen for ourselves even if we are in stagnation then we're just gonna that's where we're gonna get stuck we're not gonna be able to move forward we're not gonna be able to see any anything different so we need to let go of that we need to let go of the need for control we need to let go of the need for things to be a certain way if you feel stagnation if you feel like you're you know butting your head against the wall it's because you're not supposed to go that direction so what they're trying to do is lead you into another direction, another way. But you need to let go in order for that to happen, okay? But I will talk more about stagnation uh, in a separate video because they asked me to make a separate video about it, so I will, okay? Um, they also asked me to do a meditation for you. I hope I can do that one of these days where we sit down and we meditate and then we invite the future you to drag you into 
the future and let go of the old. So they wanted me to also make a separate video about that where we do that meditation and allow the old to go. Okay, so I'll see if I can do that uh, in one of these days uh, quite soon. So that was the first things they showed me. Now, the end of this year, the end of November and December, I'm feeling like there's a lid being put on us. Uh, for me, it looks like snow because that's kind of my, um, my symbol for calmness, okay? When the snow uh, kind of lays on the ground and everything gets covered in white, that's my uh, symbol for calmness when we communicate. So that's what they're showing me. They're showing me this lid of the snow kind of being put on everything and everything becoming calm still. And I think that's something we really need now after all this turmoil uh, during this year. We really, really need a break. And I feel like that's what we're going to get, especially in December. November is still going to be a little bit of the aftermath of what we've been going through, but it will kind of calm down little by little by little towards the end of November. Getting into December, I feel a total calmness, okay? And I, I think it will be a calmness if you have done the work, okay? That's also very important to say. If you're willing to, uh, to be guided in a different direction, if you're experiencing stagnation, uh, if you're experiencing that, then if you're willing to let go, then it was it's going to be a calmer ride. But if you are not willing, then you will keep on butting your head against the wall and nothing will happen. And that will not feel calm. So if you're willing to do the work and if you're willing to allow these deep things to come up and be released, if you've done that work already, this December is going to look very nice. Okay, I, fe I feel like the energies are calming down in general. Um... And that will be on the planet and, of course, uh, on, on, in the media and everything like that, but also maybe the cosmic. There will, of course, be high-frequent light coming to the planet. I mean, that happens all the time. And especially, I read actually about uh, there is, not too far away from our solar system, two uh, stars that has been going around each other for quite some time that has now come closer and closer and closer and are going to merge. And that's sending out a cosmic ray and a cosmic explosion that is hitting our solar system. And so they're actually measuring this on the planet. There is a place, I think it is in Mexico, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere at least in the uh, South, South, South America, uh, where they have put out all these containers of water on a huge, huge area. And they are measuring how the water is reacting to cosmic rays. And that's how they can measure what's happening with these two stars that are coming closer and closer and exploding. Uh, uh, they have already started um, picking up what that is doing to the planet. So apparently it can be measured what's happening. And, and I was so glad that I saw that actually because sometimes I feel such strong energies and I can't understand where it's coming from and I'm checking the Schumann resonance and I'm checking the sunstorms, you know, and I'm checking myself and everything and I don't understand where it's coming from. But when I was reading up on this, I was like, oh, there, you know, you, there, there's a physical evidence of what's going on when it comes to the cosmic energies, okay? So that's just one thing that's happening in our um, uh, system, you know, our Milky Way. So so there you go, in our galaxy. So so there, there is physical evidence of what's happening, and, and that's uh, something I really, really like to see. Now, we are reacting to the cosmic storms and these cosmic energy waves. And um, it surprises me that the media doesn't write about that kind of stuff. But there you go. That's media for you. <laughs> but anyways, so, so I feel like that's also what's happening now in this period of time. Is, uh, we are feeling especially that incident with these two stars. So don't be surprised if you are feeling dizzy, if you are feeling like you're on a boat, if you're feeling like energy waves are hitting you. If you're a sensitive person, if you're an empath, you will feel this, okay? So that was another thing they showed me. What else, spirit, okay? Yeah. I have been talking about this for a while, you know, uh, about the angels being very present and being very... Um, eager to par participate and for us to open up more. And I'm feeling something very 
graceful and very holy about the end of this year. It doesn't matter if you're if you're a Christian or if you are Muslim or, or Buddhist or whatever religion you believe in or if you're non-religious. It doesn't really matter, but it is the end of a year is very often where we have a holiday that we give presents to each other or we give uh, love to each other or we have a celebration with family and that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, uh, for us, we celebrate Christmas, for instance. And uh, I feel like, especially this year, there's something very holy about it. There's something very angelic presence about it. There is something very pure. I feel a lot of light, uh, you know, and, and, and I feel a lot of Christ consciousness present. And it doesn't matter if you believe in Christ or whomever you believe in, but the presence of the holy is very strong in the end of this year, okay? And that's why I'm feeling especially that this December, if you have chosen to do the work, it's going to be very beautiful if you allow it to be, if you allow these energies in, and if you allow the old to be let go of, if you allow yourself to be pulled by the future you into the new start, the new beginning, I feel like this December can be very, very beautiful, okay? What else, Spirit? Okay. They're again, they're again talking about how important it is for us who are on the spiritual path to stay in this energy because we are emanating that energy out to everybody else. So the more you can stay in that holy, beautiful light energy, the more you will, the, the light will kind of come through you and out to everybody else. And that's actually helping healing the planet. So you have to understand how important this is. If if we all did this, we could heal the planet, right? So it's it's like when you sit in that power, when you sit in that energy and emanate that light out to everybody else, you are helping and healing the entire planet. So it's so important that we stay in that light, okay? And also they say, for those of you who have chosen who are, who, or who are waking up to the fact that you're supposed to share your gift or your spiritual knowledge, this is the time. And it's so important for you to do it at this time. People need help. People need support. People need to know that, you know, this flesh is not all there is. That there is an afterlife. That there is presence of angels. That there is presence of light. That there is hope. You know, people who are in desperate situations around this planet need love they need the light they need this hope so you can be someone who can help to share that if you're willing to and that's so important and they are really pushing for us to do that and step it up be the light okay you are the light so share it right yeah is there anything else well, that was the main messages they had for this uh, for this time. There might be that they want me to come uh, back in the middle of December with some more uh, energy updates. I don't know. I will have to be ask them, and they will have to guide me to it. Uh, but that was what they had for today, and and I I hope that that gave you something. I hope you liked it. Okay, wishing you a beautiful day wherever you are. Till the next time, I see you.